And so one night I went to a fashion show because my I knew somebody in it had been invited. And the lady sitting beside me started talking to me. We were talking about this kind of thing. And she said, Miss Carter at the Red Cross office has been looking for somebody to help her. So she called me. Miss Carter called me the next day, wanted me to come down to the office and let her talk to me a little bit. And I didn't leave. I worked that day. <laughs> I started filing the type, <laughs> typing that day. And that's how it all started. And the, um, the hospital came down there. Somebody from the hospital came down to the office and needed, said they needed about 60 volunteers over here. And they wanted to reorganize the Great Lady program. And I didn't know what it was all about, but Miss Carter insisted I go to the meeting. I went, signed up, and got, that's the way I came in. And I, last October was 45 years. Well, it fulfilled a need in my life at the time I came in, and I never wanted to leave. It was the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I wish I could still do it. But I love people. And just walking down the hallway and seeing somebody looking down and giving them a smile and it brightens their day, just that, little things. But when you lead, you know you've helped somebody. And sometimes it's babies and mothers. and It's different. Every call is different. That's why it's so interesting. It's like a family. And Megan and Nisi and all those, Brandy and all, Leslie, all of those back there have been such a blessing to me. They, they have been my family for, in the last five years. One lady came up to me and said, oh, you probably don't know me, I work at the hospital, but said, you, you pushed me out in the wheelchair the day I left the hospital when I was born. I said, how long ago is that? She said, 40 years. Well, back in August, I, I had pneumonia and I had some heart problems. And that's why I'm not going to the luncheon. My doctor advised me not to be around crowds because I'm still, my voice is still not back. And if I had the health and the strength, I would still be here. But I can't just, I've reached a point in my life I can't do it anymore. And I'm just thankful for the time that I've been able to do this. So, um, yeah, I've had it on both sides now and you can't beat this hospital. They care. They really care. I've learned one thing if you're hurting, give somebody some, some of your time and you'll feel better. That's the biggest thing I've learned. Give of yourself and you'll feel better. Always go home feeling better. I don't feel that I deserve this, really, because I'm, I'm no different than all the other gray ladies and gray lads, but I feel honored and thankful that I was chosen for this.